story you are about to see is true. In order to protect the innocent, no names have been changed. Legitimate, all while raking in investment. I choose the truth. When a group of people get together and decide they're going to commit massive fraud, they don't register with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission for investments, which this company did. They say it sent out press releases, created a website, and today a Channel 9 investigation uncovered. The company even showed up to a job fair in Caldwell County looking for employees. Eyewitness News reporter Blake Hansen is live at the federal courthouse where one of those suspects will face a judge tomorrow. Blake? And today, one area economic leader told me this was a company that sounded great, but once they started looking at the inner workings, it was more like Swiss cheese. If someone approached you about investing in Nyato Industries, a quick Google search would turn up plenty with news articles and rap trucks, a company that promised to convert standard trucks into electric. But this grand jury indictment unsealed today says the company was mostly a sham. A Charlotte man, Robert Leslie Stencil, and two others accused of trying to get people to buy Nyato stock by falsely saying it had a headquarters in Charlotte, had sold 2,700 vehicles, and... and even employed a former executive at Toyota. I choose the truth. And investigators say the scheme worked. At least 10 victims were over the age of 55. I am not the fraud. Today I talked by phone with the head of the Caldwell County Economic Development Commission. I choose the truth. It even attended a job fair, and a spokesperson talked with Channel 9. And we were not expecting this. We were told to be prepared for about a thousand people. Uh, we've seen well over a thousand people. When that happens, it's... I, I choose the truth. That we were not prepared to make that announcement. While Caldwell County officials never gave the company money, investors did. Legal experts say it's a good reminder to do a lot of research with any investment. These days, no investment should be made with someone that you haven't met personally. The defense say the company was preparing to make its stock public and offering a good deal beforehand with the promise of high returns. And Monty told me that is another thing to look out for because nothing can be promised with the stock market. Live from the Federal Courthouse, Blake Hanson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We humans made law for justice, but like us, our justice system is not perfect. There are a number of cases where our law sentenced or executed innocent people. Even Colin Campbell Ross. On December 30th, 1921, a 12-year-old girl, Alma, went to a butcher's shop to collect a package of meat, but never returned. After a thorough search, the police found her body naked in Gun Alley. Media hyped this incident too much, which pressurized the police to make an arrest. Police interrogated and prosecuted a wine bar owner, Colin Campbell Ross, over the incident, even though Colin nominated several witnesses who confirmed that he had not left his premises on the afternoon of the murder. But the police ignored everything and Ross was executed. David Spence In 1982, David Spence was charged of murdering three teenagers. It was presumed that David had been hired by a store owner, Monir Deeb, the actual culprit, who then raped and murdered two 17-year-old girls and one 18-year-old boy in Waco, Texas. David Spence had been executed by lethal injection on April 14, 1997. The police lieutenant, Marvin Horton, and homicide detective Ramon Salinas later accepted that the witness was faked. There was no evidence against David Spence. He was innocent.
I choose the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth.